should be available in free roam mode now. Please do wait for that. Now this should be available in free roam mode now. Please game wait for that. Probably just move stuff around. So the new 
material. Here we go. We'll just do it this way. Alright, so oh, the like Savior's material. There's rock over there. We'll just do it grass. We'll Alright, so the oh, like Savior's material. Grass. There's rock over there. We'll just do it grass. We'll grass. Right. Grass. Right. 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 Grass. Right. Pick the ground model. Grass. Whatever. Grass. Grass. Pick the ground model. Now we add material until we can add material.
now I don't want to go back game.
regressed to I regressed to dot normal. I regressed to I regressed to dot normal. I regressed to I regressed to dot is dot normal. There it is. Alright. Now since I'm using that as a right.
to sign anything, it'll assume uh, it'll also need to be or whatever that texture is. If you don't sign anything, cover it'll, it'll, assume, it'll just draw on it. Uh, it'll also need to be or whatever that texture Let's go over to a beach. I know there was a beach, and I'm sure there's sand in here. Whatever that Let's go over to a beach. I know there was a beach, and I'm sure there's sand in here. Whatever that Let's go over to a beach. I know there was a beach, and I'm sure there's sand in here. Sand. What resolution are you? Sand. Okay, 1024, about 1024. Bless your CDS. Oh, you got to be connected. 1024, about 1024. Bless your CDS. Oh, you got to be connected. 1024, about 1024. Bless your CDS. Sand.
detail map for the sand. We can definitely use that one. And there's actually a detail map for the sand. We can definitely use that one. But and there's actually a detail map for the sand. We can definitely use that one. But and there's actually a detail map for the normals for it. Oh, it's macro. And see, what I want to use is 128 resolution for that. And see, what I want to use is 128 resolution for that. We use a detail though. Actually, pull both of these into here. Oh, there's a normal for it. Now I see it. Actually, pull both of these into here. Oh, there's a normal for it. Now I see it. Actually, pull both of these into here. Oh, there's a normal. All right. Pull the normals into here. That's um, 256 by 256. Right, so that's going to have to be changed to here. That's 1024. Uh, 1024. Or 128. That's going to have to be changed to here. That's 1024. Or 1024. 1024.
have scale. So once you set the scale, so just remember scale. So the all same scale, scale applies so to all the scale. So just like remember. if you were base texture and so you the same same scale scale change that to, to scale 16, like if you were and it's going to change the base texture to 16 for all of these. And it's going to change the same thing with all the textures. Scale for the macro and the detail. I did read that you can manually change that, but they did this by default. I read that you can easily do it in less complicated that, but they did this by default. They said you can manually adjust all these different scaling through all these different layers, but manually adjust that. That already is confusing thinking about it. Scaling through all these different layers. Save changes to file. Normal to show up. It's not going to show up now. 
addition to your base color, basically a base you also color have to have roughness and height. But if you want to see normal, so in addition to your base color, which basically you also have all to have a gray scale. But if you want to see normal, so it's so it's easy to just recycle some of these. And all that be the best scale.
formats out of DDS, but I don't know why they don't work in the terrain. Well, formats out of DDS something to do with compression. I don't know. Maybe they would work if they didn't have compression. I ain't tried it.
don't know how the hell you make a hike map out of a 2D texture. After the fact, I know how to make a hike map out of Blender from 3D terrain and stuff, but I have no idea how to hike map this Blender texture other than using from 3D terrain and stuff. But I have no idea how I think it actually is functioning as a real hike map. I'm not a sure. I've just been recycling. I said I've been recycling a lot of these to be the hike map. I've just been recycling roughness map. And I'll switch them out to different ones and see like, well, maybe I like this one better than this one. Maybe this one works better. So sometimes the darker ones look better. I believe what is white is what gets the most shine. The darker ones look better. I believe what is white is what gets the most shine. The darker ones look better. I believe what is white is what gets the most shine. The roughness white and cracks is the crevices and white is the shine. Roughness white and cracks is the crevices and white is white. Come on, I hope they get that shit. White and cracks is the crevices are open white. Alright, so base color. And I'll do that decal and I'll probably be it. Alright, so base color. Alright, so This is the one time you do want the texture to be black if it's a black road. This is the one time you do. Uh, but if you mess with the PBR and you're road. frustrated as hell with the way that the black the materials time, look uh, when you mess up, mess with the PBR and you're frustrated as hell with the way that black materials look when you mess up, mess with the PBR and you're frustrated as hell with the way that black materials look when you mess up, mess with the PBR and you're frustrated as hell with the way that black materials look when you mess up, mess with the PBR and you're frustrated as hell with the way that black materials look when you mess up, mess with the PBR and you're frustrated as hell with the way that black materials look when you mess up, mess with the PBR and you're frustrated as hell with the way that black materials look when you mess up, mess with the PBR and you're frustrated as hell with the way I know the terrain itself will only will show you up to a 4K. But I know the terrain itself will only will show you up to a 4K. But I know the terrain itself will only show you up to a 4K. And uh, I know Yeah, I'm not going to use the detail of macro for this. I'll just use this as the base Yeah, I'm not going to use it. Because I'm going to paint it where I'll grow it. Like the 
road texture and not just road. You, know, you can see how the white of the sand could give it the look of like snow and ice on the road also. See, this was ice texture, not sand road. And this was ice road texture and not just road. And then the car racing over the sand. White dusty and hail. Give it the look of ice on the road also. See, this was ice texture. Oh, yeah. You have sand on there or under there.
I tell you folks.
923. Oh, I'm still live streaming apparently. Yeah, so the channel's not monetized yet. Close. But still a ways to go. I was about to get the calculator out. Because I can't add for shit. I never thought there'd be this many people subscribe. I'd never in a million years would have thought that I'd probably have any more than ever a hundred hours watched. Let's see, eight, three, six, nine, three, nine, two, three, seventy-seven to go. Which I knew, I knew, if I make stuff related to what's the most popular stuff uh, how to make 3d objects in blender for beam ng the rainbow water slides google earth to beam ng using meshroom Cars versus tornadoes. Got to be careful. Let's make a J beam and where do dead weed eaters lay to rest? That's what everybody watched. And the tank video. The guy emailed me again about his tank. He had more stuff he wanted done, but that's too and too much stuff. I'm not comfortable messing with it at that level yet how to import DAEs into game from blender I mean there's a lot of stuff a lot of stuff a lot of videos but I mean these are long videos I understand nobody wants to watch them all I sure as hell wouldn't I hate to hear myself talk I couldn't imagine having to hear myself talk all these through all these so yeah it won't be long, but I'm pretty sure that super chat thing is not an option I have yet. That shit ain't ready yet. I tell you folks. Hmm. Yeah, apparently with this mic, I thought I ended chat. Apparently I didn't. Apparently with this mic, Damn options. It's not the mic, it's this damn box I got it plugged into. Apparently, let me try it now. Right, let me see, is it still popping like? Well, I was already on the channel. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, how are you? Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, how are you? Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, how are you? Hello. Hello, hello. Oh, that's, that's crazy. That's like infinity, right? Like, this goes on forever. Huh. So this whole folder here is dry. Yeah, I did play this back and it's some shit quality. Really bad. Do away with that. Really, really bad. Ed. Hello, one, two, three, four. 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 Ed. Kaseho, Shokria, Phil Meninge. Mohaden. Bonjour. Hello.
Hola, ¿cómo estás? Hola, ¿cómo estás? Hola, ¿cómo estás? Mucha fiesta en la noche, mucho sueño en la mañana. Mucha fiesta en la noche, mucho sueño en la mañana. Mucha fiesta en la noche, mucho sueño en la mañana. It doesn't seem to be popping now. It appears it is working as it should. So I reckon I can, uh... Well, hell, I wasn't going to do this, but I reckon I will make another terrain paint. For this level, since I did save it. I'll open the chat window on this time. If anybody drops in, I'll see if I'm still making some popping noises on the microphone. Now, I usually don't live stream because I have bad attention deficit disorder. So as, as I start to get not out of, I get out of focus real easy when I get distracted and I can't work. I can't talk and work at the same time. That's for damn sure. I am not one of them kind of folks that can do that. Unless I'm just rambling. I'm, if I'm just rambling, talking shit, nah, I can do that. But if I'm actually trying to answer questions and stuff while working, no, I can't do that at all. I just, it's like my engine just doesn't fire on all cylinders anymore. Alright, so let's load that level back. What the hell? The game's not running. Yeah, apparently, it is still running. Or no, it ain't. I don't know. I mean, after hours now, overtime, done been at it all morning and all afternoon. Dump. Oh, that's garbage dump. A big boom boom dumps too. Big boom boom. That's pretty cool there. Now I like that. I do like that too. Four times? Probably. It's easy to paint with forest item. Yes, they all forest item. Interesting. I don't I don't use that feature too often. I've used it a lot though. I do like the forest tool. I use it for things like this. It does make it a lot damn easier. Um, yeah, like I was watching a video earlier. Somebody had a video. Uh, they had a video on their cars driving off a cliff. It's a fairly new YouTube channel. And I, I noticed they had the same issue with their train paint. Uh, well, they started new levels and they had some train paint in their flying. I was thinking it was flying. But that wasn't the point I was making. The point was, uh, I think they were on Italy and the guardrail. Or uh, in the way, you can't drive a car off the cliff anywhere you want to do. So I'm gonna tell you that person saw this and go to the board to do it. You can select the box, you can select stuff that is board size. There's a lot more stuff that is board size than you realize. Lots of walls and barriers and things, uh, guardrails, hell, even houses in some of the levels I've been painted on the Avoid the forest item tool. I'm not a big fan of painting things. I like to handle it. It's so hard. I like to sculpt with my hands. So, placing things by hand. But I'll do that thing. Them I can pick from. And in the level here. Let's get a grass. Grass. 
mud, mud, mud or grass, I don't know. Mud. Now, if you do mud, then you got to do a depth map, too. But I bet somebody would probably rather see mud than more grass. We got enough grass as it is. So you get mud in there. I had to convert that thing thing there to uh, 1080p. Yeah. There's that there. Image scale. Scale down to 1K. 1K. Export as levels. Nah, levels. Uh, Gyrot art. Terrains. 1k.png. Alright, then while I'm here, I'll convert that to a grayscale. Exported as uh, yeah, let's put A for ambient occlusion. I mean, you can put whatever you want to put, no matter. I just as long as one's got an R and one's an A, then I know well one's one and one's the other. Color invert. Because from what I read, the white white is what is cracks and crevices when you're dealing with roughness maps. That's what I read. I don't mean I read something that was right. So I use like the inverted one for the inverted roughness. I mean inverted grayscale for the roughness. And then uh, I guess. For the height map, let's see. We'll invert it back and we'll basically blow out the contrast so that what is white, not like that, you're not. What is white is super white and what is black is super black. Black is what's on the bottom and white is what's on the top, and this should work as a good height map. Even though it's really just. A relief map. It's not really a height. Export as. I put a little H for height. Yeah, I can't tell the difference in the height maps. Not on terrain paints. I can tell they're doing something, but I'm like, well, your height maps are all wrong. That's why they don't look right. Well, they may be. That could be. I don't disagree. Export as 1K levels art levels. Uh, shit, my ADD's already kicking in, and I got two more days before I can get my refill. I'm really struggling on focus today. All right, thank you, dumbass. Where you doing? Where you going? Okay, uh, art. Uh, levels. Yeah, I mean, I, my AD really is bad. But when I do focus, I focus like hell. But when I'm having a hard time focusing, yeah, it's it's something else. Art. Worst job in the world I ever took was cooking at a Chick Fil A, the original dwarf house in Hapeville, Georgia. I was cooking in front of all them folks out there in the damn dining room. They could all talk to me while I was working, and I couldn't do worth a shit. I had them so far down behind, I heard the managers cussing in Chick-fil-A. <laughs> oh, it was bad. I really pissed off a lot of people. I ended up quitting that job. They didn't like me after I got angry. I got angry one day, and I said some bad things, and they told me to get the hell out. I never went back. Yep. But yeah, no, it's a great place to work. It really is. There's no, there's, there's never any 
there is never any toxic toxicity of other employees there. They're all That's a damn That's a damn lie. That is a lie. It's a lie. I don't believe it. One of the most toxic places I ever worked. I remember I only wanted to work part time. I only wanted to work part time. I told him I worked three days a week. That's it. I went to the house. Big old girl in there. She's talking to her friends, one of the employees. My man, my man ain't working full time and he ain't getting nothing. I don't know what she was rambling on about. She made it loud enough for me to hear. Just little stuff like that. Strong opinionated, that's all. They're bad, they just got strong opinions. Mud. Like what you do, make it miserable. You ever just get a job just to pay the bills, you're never gonna be happy. You have to get something you want to do for a living. So if you're young, go to school. If you're old, make the shit out of love. You gotta screw it up. Got an old part. 49. Showing grayscale. Showing red. Why didn't it earlier? Like I said, that's a damn Scooby Doo mystery. Only Scooby knows why it did not do this earlier. The earlier video. Oh, well, you know, you're making a video, of course. Everything goes wrong when you make a video. Don't you know that? Weirdest thing. Things never happen until you make a video and they all happen. That's why I say making a video also plays a lot of it. Probably a win. I see errors I never see any other time. So I start live streaming and they all appear. Of course they appear all the time anyway. They seem to be more appearing when we make it. Big ass cracks in that mud. Big mud cracks here. Alright. It sure is. It sure ain't very shiny looking. Where I know the sun's shining. White wouldn't be in the damn cracks in the ambient pollution for mud.
this way. I'm gonna blow out the contrast. And you... Open recent. Invert. Export as. This will be the new roughness map. Uh, call it something else. And that should fix our problem. Dumb bastard. You didn't can no wonder this shit didn't look right. You forgot to scale it to ten twenty four. It's not gonna look right when you can't use that resolution. Why can't you use twenty forty eight? You may say well. One damn texture was wrong, you didn't mess the ball. So much better. So much better. It's almost like a brownie. Well, it ain't been cooked too long. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, how are you, my friend? Playing with these textures. Hopefully, the microphone. Mike's great. No, Havoc can you give me this mic? You don't need it. It's a great mic. It's a damn box that I gotta plug into. It, is, I not, it says it's not Windows 11 compatible. So I should I, I should have known. I should have known. But I did this. So I upgraded to Windows 11, and here we are with microphone problems. I can look it directly into my sound card. But the damn end of the cable so heavy that it's like shit's gonna bend, bend my car or whatever, bend the inside of it. Uh, it's a very heavy, heavy plug. Use a mud and have this out so it's base color, you know, something else like 
If I had one of them 4K drones, I would make use of it. I could make damn textures all day long. And I'd love to have one that's got a good 4K camera. I can show you the channel. This guy's got an amazing drone. Uh, Sanford Dam. This guy documented this damn thing like no other person could have. He spent days, months, he's even live streaming this damn dam. <laughs> and it's re this is a dam in America that it died, basically it collapsed. And this guy, he spent and he spent forever working on this thing, doing footage of this dam. I used some of his footage to make a mesh room mesh and actually it turned out. Let's see if he's got his camera in here that he uses. Or his drone that he uses. No, this isn't the one with the drone footage. One of these, he's got drone footage. I was like, damn, that's some damn good quality drone footage. What I was really thought was funny, a gay guy got recently married. I was reading in there. He gave a video. He brought his wife to the Sanford Dam. <laughs> it was drawn. I said, oh, man. she got to be bored out her damn mind. He's talking about the dam and everything for hours. And I was like, oh, my goodness. My wife don't. and She can't stand computers. I'm just not into what I do. I can imagine. Unless he met her at the dam, then maybe... See which, uh, which, see, where has he got his camera at here? Oh, this is the DJI Magic 2 Pro. Let's see. I know one of these he had, it was like, yeah, that's the one I was looking at. Yep. I don't know. That's, that seems a bit high compared to, like, the other ones that are, like, 400. But I was unaware what. First, very first version of Small Island to recreate it. Oh, you know what? I may actually have that very first island. I may not, though. I did have it 